All right, I am Jeremy Nobrano Concepts, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, Today is exciting for me because, well, I have something that resembles a car. Uh, this was actually a really good week for me. Got a lot of done, um, a lot of stuff accomplished. Okay, so I started the week off with creating these handy little jigs uh, to hold the wheel arch. Now, anyone that's seen a body kit or you know any of these aftermarket body kits will tell you like the wheel arch is one of the most important parts of a body kit. You have a round wheel, you have a round tire, and if your wheel arch is not perfect, uh, you're gonna see it. So to hold my arches in place, I created these little jigs. I like to use paint sticks and people laugh. Um, but I do it because they're, eight, they're an eight inch thick. So if you know what you want your dimension to be, you can laminate them together like I have and create whatever height you want. Now on the bottom, because knowing that I wanted my wheel arch to sit basically flush with my tire, I was able to square off the bottom of that on the back side of my round rod and that simulated butting up against my tire. With that, now I have my flush fitment and I have the spacing that I want holding my wheel arch in place semi-permanently while I do my template round rod. So the next step was to actually create the wheel arch. This is made out of 3 16 round rod. This will be what I use for all the permanent structure uh, for this body kit. I guess I really couldn't call it a body kit at this point since we are going to be molding this all into the car. So this is going to be a molded body kit, I guess. Uh, but that will be all 3 16 round rod. What I have right now is all 8th inch round rod. I use this because it's extremely cheap and it's extremely flexible. So I can really, you know, get the shapes contoured to real where I want them. And right now, I painted them red, hopefully you guys can see them. Uh, but what I do with the glossy finish is look at the reflection of the light off the gloss and it really highlights the curvature of what I'm bending, you know, or what I have bent after it's actually in place. So right now, what I have is simulating my cut line into my fiberglass. These are my ending points this is where I will be blending back into the OEM body. I haven't gotten to the back section of the wheel well yet. The bottom is going to be blended into the rear fascia. You're gonna to have to watch to see how I do that one because that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, but that's gonna involving, going to be involving a lot of stretching and moving back into the rear fascia there. So. Once I have the rear fascia trimmed, then I can actually create the patterns and shapes to go back into that. So that's basically where I'm at right now. Um, again, very happy with the progress. And this really gives you, you know, a good idea of the direction I want to take this car. And a lot of people ask me how I get, you know, my inspiration for design or how do I decide which way I'm gonna go? And a lot of times the car itself dictates the design. When I first looked at the Supra, I really had thought about taking the fake vent out of the door and moving it into the wheel well area. I think pretty much everybody wants to see that. We wanna see that from the factory, to be honest with you, Toyota, that should have happened. It didn't. But for the simple fact that I think anyone that's looked at this car has pretty much thought of that idea is exactly why I want to do something different. So you can see how I have taken this bottom archway here that mimics the door and really taking this shape and reversing it has now made it a stylistic cue into the new body lines that I'm creating. That right there is kind of how I would define my style. I don't really like to over embellish. Um, I really like to take a lot of styling cues from the car and integrate them back into the new design. Case in point would be this opening down here at the bottom. 
the flat blade that will come out from the side skirt is actually the shape is taken from the headlight where I took loosely the shape of the LED strip in it and reversed it and that is what I'm using now here for the base of the car so a lot of times people ask me well how do you get your lines to flow well I follow pretty much OEM lines it's not really a trick I mean guys have been doing it for years but that's pretty much how I come up with my designs so in a nutshell like this is pretty much where I'm at this is the direction I'm taking this car once I have the patterns finished out um, I will do the actual welding video the final installation that's when you'll get to see all that happen I didn't do any of the rolling video for these patterns because it's just a stupid tedious process it takes a long time it's a lot of back and forth walking and really there's no reason to show you that so once I get some good footage that's really worthwhile to show you how it's done or how I'm doing it anyway uh, that's when I'll start kicking out the videos again but for now um, hopefully you enjoy you know what you're seeing I always appreciate everyone watching and I hope you continue watching so Thanks and see you next time.